Jundra just after 11 o'clock and we got this super highway down into the National Park. It's all one emu. The council and the local road workers do a great job. And Mary saw another four emus off the side of the road. Even the track into the information sign is smooth. out the desert drive. That'll be our last or national park for Queensland. The drive is well, 19 K can. one way. You can only so, can. No, it's Sunday. So we won't see anybody else I expect, so we'll go the wrong way. The desert drive. Dry old national park. This is a, a mud plain, a flood plain. See your road. us on the GPS. What did you say it was? It was owned by... Oh, somebody yesterday said it was one of the home support properties. Home support properties. I think the greater drivers had a lot of fun going these lovely, smooth... Looks like rain out that way. That's down to the Barku River. It actually gives you a good way access to the countryside, which you can't do wandering around homesteads. Mm. driving across this crest of givers. I don't know how they hop across it. And they're all a bit bored with tourists. to the river. beside the, the mighty Barku River. It's quite a deep little channel actually and these are all the campgrounds. If it rains you're stuck here. You can stay for 30 days. Just start to spit. And up at yonder black clouds up there. Just walk over and read the sign. 
great bundle of lateritic rocks down there. They're just getting out of here. There's the rains over there in the west. And just north of west. Out over Windora. There's a revegetation area, keep off. It doesn't look like there's very much being revegetated at Not all. At it needs some more it's rain. A sign, I think. And then they'll close it all again. Nobody will ever see it. Yeah. Except that little kangaroo over there. Mary needs the glasses fixed when we get home. That's a little windy loo. Just waiting for the rain not to come. There it is up there. There's a few scraps of rocks and gravel over there for the little roux to eat. Got his teeth on. Doesn't have to hop very far to find the next pebble. A flash of lightning just hit the ground over there on the horizon. There's the thunder. Hope it doesn't strike the windy loo. We had a steep warning sign, steep descent sign just back there. This is down into the, the Baku River, which is called the Bulu River on the brochure. This must be the shallow end of that pool we had lunch at. And a large reef down the middle of it. A solid rock. Like a laterite of some description. Stream where the river goes to the, the Cooper. That was a handy spot for a crossing. It's a, from an old dot matrix printer. Looks like. And enlarged it beyond its pixel strength. Okay, yeah, we read about the bush christening the other day at another spot. Thunder and lightning to the north. While we were talking to a chap just coming out of the, the park, he was going into camp and the lightning came down over the top of his vehicle and crashed behind him Way a few miles away. He said, oh, it's just circulating around this spot. Probably blow over. I return left and go up to Blackall. We're going up to Iraqa. But it's clunk off, have you? Our creek, it's very flat, dry country. This one's actually flowing back under us. This is out the other window. You can actually see which way it's flowing. Maybe this is the beginning of the water coming down from wherever it is, black wall. It's going to be here in a couple of days. After leaving the little creek crossing, we're at 40k south of Iraqa. There's tons of firewood. You come out here with your ute, pick some stumps. That's the weather over to the northwest and west. People are talking about what about the kids down at the creek? Passing, passing traffic. Uh, oh, we 
I just left the Baku Shire with its good roads. And we're going into Long Reach with its okay roads. And it still looks like rain. 10 to 4, several K up there. Welcome, welcome. Guess the bus, I think. It's an 101 k Isisford. Is that the right road? Yeah, we go through Isisford. No. I just stopped the letter car overtake. Saw two busters down there, back on the road to Emmett, which is nothing. That's the end of the railway line. The railway line, we've been following the abandoned track for a couple of hours. Just take off the headlight covers and continue on to Blackhall, which is regularly not signposted. Just packing up in the rain at Blackhall. I'm glad we didn't camp down at the river with a hundred caravans. They might be being snatched out at the moment. Send SMSs to Jane and Maxine for their birthday and to Ella and Tricia. No replies as yet. And hot water comes out of the tap. Sulfuric smell, or well, sulfur smell, and sulfur showers. And most of the campsites getting emptied as they go into town or go for a drive. We're going to go down to Burke and straight home. As Mary's cough and losing her voice, we won't. We may not drop in on anybody. Oh, it's raining in Barcolvin and it's sunny down south a bit towards Burke. Roads closed to Long Reach because of water on the roads. We're just going to have a coffee. We'll come back here in Angola. It doesn't rain very often in Blackhall. Right, well, it's too muddy and too many puddles to get out. But there's a famous black stump. Any grey nomads out there looking for good cheap diesel, go through town on the Amber Road, that's uh, east, and go to the BP. It's about 13 cents a litre cheaper out here and they've got lovely clean loose and they have an air hose and a compressor that works.
oldest town in the central western Queensland. It's going to start raining again. It's a population 620, rainfall 550. They probably just had it. Well, we've made it to another one of those little spots mentioned in the offbeat Australia. I'll have a coffee there. Sounds like John Law's country actually. You don't sell them internationally on a website? They're on a website and they go to Singapore, New Zealand, not Malta. Passing by tourists, no, no, all of them. Right oh, on the website. Three for her great nieces and one for a great nephew on the way. We've even got a Dennis fire engine from 1928 over here, and there's probably the, the southernmost currency. Um, bottle trees. That's a big one. Oh, that's a pretty healthy looking uh, tree there. Peaceful little town where the Augustella fella came from. To lose. All local gentry. you want to be photographed. Too embarrassed to be in public show, aren't you? Hey, eh? oh, sunset soon. Well, there's even a caravan park with a, a skate ramp, skateboard ramp. Board Park is the right terminology. Just looking for our accommodation in oh, the evening glow. Have our dinner with Sharon and mine host Brett. Brett from the, um, the 
Gold Coast Sunshine Volcano Coast where he managed the, the bar. There, well, I'll give you a tour of our motel room in a minute. This is on the Warrego River, Levy Bank. And it's all as dry as a bone. Near the local local um, Queensland houses that are slowly dying. You know, like a cellar. And over here is the mighty Warrego River. Looks like that a pumping station or something just here. There's an old river crossing. If you want to test out four wheel drive through the, the dry creek. Queensland house and shed. Might have been the pub. That's probably the blacksmiths. And here is the, the Kenneth tree where the Kenneth brothers and cattle duffers and bush rangers tethered all their horses while they did their business in the hotel which was nearby. The old Coolabar tree. And they can make a quick getaway if need be. That and Ginny Kenneth. I suppose lots of trees are called Coolabar trees. We're under some pressure to get home now. So we've given up photographing and visiting some of these sites. We're just trying to find out what the meat ant is. Station which we saw up the road. I wonder how many went off to the First World War and never returned. Uh, drovers from 1910 from the Queensland Drovers song and returning to Augustella Station. Turn right to Charlie on the Mitchell Highway, which is also the Outback Way, and the Matilda Way, the Matilda Highway, I think, the three names. Stockman very much. We're just horses, no. just talking about them rounding up cattle through all that thick scrub. Prickly pear. There you go, waves as my mm -hmm. battery goes flat. There's Simbras.
Just driving out of town, Mary remembered reading about the Vortex gun in the uh, Four Speed Australia book. Charlieville Bugle was a caller. The Charlieville Bugle too. Hopes for rain rests on rag. That's right, it's all about rag. You can read all about it in the book. Legal parts of genius, eccentric and larrikin, Clement, Lindley, rag and lived a life at full throttle. Although he is best remembered for trying to make rain, the stormy Queensland weather chief was in fact a world-class meteorologist. Rag set up scores of weather observation stations around Australia and was the first to use weather data to form long-range forecasts. Founder of the Meteorological Society of Australia, Rag was also the first person in the world to give names to cyclones. In fact, he named some cyclones after politicians of the day, claiming they were natural disasters, resulting in a few laughs but not many friends in high places. With this in mind, it is little wonder that the fitness enthusiast, animal lover and keen mountaineer was overlooked for the coveted position of Commonwealth meteorologist following Federation. Dismayed but not disheartened, Rag quit public life and formed a long-range weather forecasting practice in Australia and New Zealand. He died in 1922 at the age of 70. They can play golf here too. September and it's felt 30 kilometres away from a nitrate mixture, diesel and such when a truck crashed here. It'd be all on the internet and blew up the, the old railway bridge that was built in 1897 by 350 blokes. At the end of the railway line, a bit of history and there's the old road bridge crossing down there, completely gone, the memorial over here, these are from the, the old railway bridge.